Hey guys, it's me Narelle here and welcome back to a new video. Um, I just want to say this before the video goes on and you guys notice it's a consistent thing. Um, I'm sorry that my hand is literally in the way of everything. <laughs> I think near the end of the video it gets slightly better, but I think it's just how I grip my pencil is what makes it hard when I do colored pencil videos. I mean with markers I'm more loose and lax with it so it's not really an issue but if I'm going to do more color pencil drawings recorded I'm going to have to figure out a way um, for you guys to see what I'm actually doing um, without my hand being in the way and if it actually is a consistent problem maybe color pencil videos are not for me <laughs> so darn me and how I hold my, my pencils because I grip my pencils really hard because I hate having it loose out my hand and dropping so I like like to keep it you know tight in my arm so I can control it a little bit better but then again I'll try to figure it out later on if I do decide to keep doing color pencil videos so um yeet so as you can see me doing I'm pretty much laying down the base shade of brown for this cute girly I decided to go with brown because I only had one peach skin color and I just did not want to mix around oranges just to kind of get the skin to not look like it's orange and you know I'm just like no I'm just gonna go with brown because I had a very good option of browns in this set and what I actually liked is that with the base shade of brown I actually layered it again over each other and it got darker so I'm like hey I didn't know it would do this but then once I got to my second um, shade of brown it wouldn't really go over it so I'm like darn you not right <laughs> and you trying to experiment <laughs> so yeah my second shade didn't work out so well so I just went to my um, darkest shade after this one and then I actually used a red to do the darkest shade so I actually really like using um, reds and purples as darker shades for us brown folks of color because I think it looks cute I think using brown upon brown upon brown upon brown is kind of boring to be honest so you just gotta spice it up and add another color that would equally complement us as well so yeet I am not the best at coloring brown skin um I think I color a lot more peachy skin tones but I'm trying to like get in the mode where I'm trying to like color different skin tones so I won't be freaking out before I color something on camera because I think that happens half the time I mean when I get to the peachy skin tones um I'm okay like I really am okay but when it comes to brown skin tones and other type of skin tones I'm kind of like oh how do I approach this so hopefully in the near future I'll draw a little bit more of brown peoples um, in my sketchbook so I can get comfortable with them so yeah so um, that is what I'm doing <laughs> um, and yeah <laughs>
Alrighty, so now I'm getting into coloring the hair. Let me tell you guys, over half of this video is just me coloring her hair because look, I had a time. So, for this set, I had a very sad feeling about it because you only got two blues in this set. Everything had a life of its own besides blue. They were just like, you know what, blue, goodbye. You are no, no, you're not relevant in this set. And I'm like, ah, because I really wanted her hair to be blue. But I'm like, you know what, let me just spice her up a little bit. So, on one side of her hair, it's blue. So I had to use the only two blues and then make purple the dark shade to get it to be cute because purple does mix with blue really well so luckily I had a dark enough purple to go over this blue to make it work and then on the other side is going to be pink <laughs> because I don't know I feel like the half and half color hair is actually very cute though I will say the pinks in this set equally was not my favorite either because they had pink but the darker pink they had was more like a magenta color and it kind of made her hair turn out to be like a purple-ish tone and you know it's whatever I still think this picture is cute by the way but I just kind of wish it had more of a variety and more of like a quote-unquote natural shade to some of the colors because I don't like having my art to have like a light light color effect because it's not cute you really won't see like all the shading but um so I do like to go in with detail and all that type of stuff. I just kind of wish um, the darkest shade wasn't so dark in the pink. And I wish I had like a lighter shade in the blue just to kind of make it work. But you know, it's whatever. <laughs> and I totally forgot that this part is upside down. I'm going to have to fix it after I record um, this audio. You guys won't even tell that it's upside down. But this part of the clip was upside down. <laughs> but um, anyway, so the color choicing of this set of these twist up color pencils it was okay but I'm like if they just made a certain adjustments to some of the other colors it would have been a really good set so um geek so uh, I'm just gonna go into my likes and my dislikes about the set of these lovely twistable color pencils since her hair pretty much is the biggest chunk of this video so I'm gonna go into my dislikes first and then I'm gonna to end it off with positivity so what I did not like about this set is obviously the lack of blues and just other color varieties because I know with a 30 set a 30 piece set it's hard to kind of divide what colors you want to have more of but um I understand blue in every other color pencil set has like a hundred pencils while the other pencils have two I understand blue is just one of those colors that get highly favored but I think blue gets highly favored for a good reason because blue is blue um but I feel like blue can get a little bit muted sometimes where a lot of it does resemble each other and if you do have different shades of it you can make it work and for the fact that this only had two blues it's kind of hard to make it work and other colors I felt like could have been taken out like this set had a lot of pinks and purple pinks and all that stuff it was a lot of those I feel like if they took away some of the colors and added more blues or other colors I would have liked this set a lot more I'm not crapping on it because you know it doesn't have a lot of color variety because these are color pencils like I can normally use my other Crayola color pencils to get the effect that I want it but since this is a kind of a review video if you want to call it I'm just basing my thoughts off the set alone you know so you know I know a lot of you guys are like never out you have all the other color pencils I'm like yes but if this is just a person who wants to buy this set of pencils and if they want to know if they can get a variety out of the colors this is what this video the video is not tinted for that but you kind of get what I mean. I kind of wish there was like different colors, you know. And I think that's literally the only thing I disliked about it, to be honest. 
So what I liked about these pencils is that they're very easy on the hand. I'm not even going to lie. Like, they're very comfortable to hold. And I was like, wow. Because with normal color pencils, they're made with wood. So, of course, it's going to hurt a lot more because it's a more harder material. But with these, it's this hard plastic. So it's a lot more comfortable. So if you guys don't like the feel of natural color pencils on your hand, um, if you just want something lighter and very much so easier to use, I would high key recommend these ones. Um, and the in the lead, I don't even know if I should call it lead because it felt like I was coloring with a crayon, a very easily used usable crayon. <laughs> I don't want to say this is lead. It feels like it's more of a wax. Um, but I feel like these are very easy to use. They're not hard. They're not stressful. These are very, very easy to use. So I give it kudos points for that. Again, the color is really cute. Um, so I guess I can add one for that. And what else do I like about them? And you get a lot. You get a lot of the lead type of thing in each pencil. It's not like they're cheating you out of each of these pencils. You get a lot. And the lead does not break as easy. Unless you put like really hard force on it, it's going to break. But um, these hold up really well. And I think only two of them broke out of this whole coloring process. So it's not that bad. So overall, I like this set. It's really cute. Um, it's very easy to use. Um, would I say this is very beginner friendly? I would say yeah. Like, these are very much so beginner friendly. You don't have to be like a all type 10 star level artist just to use this supply. A child could use this. <laughs> you know, it's very easy to use. So I would high key recommend these for beginners. Also, I would high key recommend. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Where is my English going? I would high key recommend these also for people that just want something fun to play around with. Like for me, uh, what I use these for actual like drawing drawing drawings maybe so because i'm just one of those simpletons that just use anything for art nowadays so maybe i'll use these again for another art piece and just try to pick the color scheme that works better for that said person so i know if i'm gonna like it or not so maybe i'll use these for drawings actually but um these are really cute to add effects on your drawings as well um if you like doing certain effects but overall i would high key recommend this set because it's cute so you know <laughs> Ha <laughs> Alrighty, and now we're getting close to the end of the video. I'm just adding on the extra tidbits, like the coloring of her shirt and everything else. And oh, I did want to say that her shirt was highly um, inspired by a shirt my friend was wearing not too long ago. My friend was wearing one of those um, crop tops that hug you up top and it was sleeveless. And I kept seeing a cross as the middle part on your chest. And I was like, is there a shirt like this? I'm pretty sure there is a shirt like that existing somewhere but I just really wanted to draw someone in a type of shirt like that so that is why this girl is wearing the shirt that she's wearing because I just was so inspired to draw someone in that type of shirt so thank you to my friend but yeah the video is wrapping up so I hope you guys like this video um I'm not going to get too much into tu not tutorial but I'm not going to get too much into like review videos because I don't want my channel to be niche I just thought I just want to pick these up just to have fun with it and just make it out make it a video because I just like using really cool art supplies as videos and if I really want to make it like a not a tutorial why I keep saying a tutorial I, if I really want to make it a quote-unquote review video I will 
But nine times out of ten, I just really wanted to show off these things in which I haven't used since I was in middle school, high school even. And I just love the fact I can dive back into them and experience the same fun and excitement that I felt when I first got them. So, um, yeet. So I would highly recommend you guys to try out some new art supplies or try out some art supplies that you had as a kid but just never picked back up as an adult. I know crayon is something that I'm like coughing coughing about because I technically was not the master of crayons I still am not I have to figure out what is my crayon style because crayons are legit the bane of my existence I think they're everybody's bane of their existence because <laughs> crayons are so freaking hard to use but anyways uh, I'll dabble in that another day so please go pick up some new art supplies um, and yeet and luckily I did say her as a line art because I really want to make this a sticker design and also I kind of want to put it on like a journal so I might make journals of her but of course I might make the color scheme a little bit different um, than the one I did here I meaning I will make it more accurate to what I saw in my head because you know you're working with a limited number of supplies so of course your vision won't come out as well as when you have a lot to offer so um, the color scheme will be this but it'll just be what I see more out of what I wanted so um, yeah so look forward to her being a sticker and a journal I really want to get into like buying newer like merch from my shop so I am going to start getting into like sticky notepads journals I'm still going to do stickers but I really want to move to like original stickers um, I'm still doing fan art stickers of course that's never going to change but I'm trying to like be that one person where like originals is kind of overpowering fan art because I really want to get my original stuff out uh, nowadays and I just really want people to buy more of that than the fan art stuff but um to each his own and what I actually do sometimes is that I give out my um, original stickers at anime conventions and a lot of people are like oh my gosh this is so cute so I get excitement out of that at least but anyways uh, that kind of derailed but if you like this video give it a like comment down whatever you like to say to me in my comment box below and I will see you guys in the next video <laughs> which might be my vlog for July July went by fast brah like it feels like we just entered July. Now it's almost over. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>